Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's episode. Thank you for joining again. This is your host Nino inviting you to another episode where you and I are alone in the kitchen. Now, <laughs> given the proper Christmas period feeling, I am having here for you tonight a form of microcontroller telegraph. So these are the two telegraph units connected over a serial connection, a form of RS232, just, just over TTL, like 5 volt voltage level, and the whole thing, and that is the special point about today's video, is based on the 80 tiny 85 microprocessor, the, the AVR80 tiny 85 on a Digistamp type board. What is so special about this project is that the this board only has five usable pins. There, there is a sixth pin, but it's a reset pin, and, and you cannot really make use of it without making your life a constant hell. So, just mentioning briefly the pin distribution, I shall then proceed to demonstrate the unit a little bit in depth. So, what do you do when you have five pins? Two pins are needed, evidently, for a serial communication between the two units. You could theoretically reduce that to one pin, but I thought to stick with standard serial so that I can use that unit as a sort of computer keyboard. And that works. Then, as I'm having two lamps for the character display, I needed further two, like these two blue ones, further two pins. So this is for the control of the blinking lights, an essential component in any computing machinery because if it doesn't have blinking lights, why would you even own it? And then the final wire, the orange wire that you see here, that is for a resistor ladder of analog input nature. So there is an analog input pin and there are all these push buttons and on the back, if I flip it over, you shall see that the orange wire is truly connected to a series of resistors here whose values I hope you can now properly see should you wish to reconstruct this right it, it starts with 10k and 2.2k 2.2 2.2 and then 4 times 1k 4 times 680 4 times 560 4 times 470 4 times 330 and 3 times 220 oh so this in this chain and, and this here leading to the positive pole like to plus 5 volt is giving you the resistor ladder I am using for the input. Furthermore, just, just in front of this 10k resistor, there is also a wire with a 220 ohm resistor which is there to um, fix things for the blinking lights so that they are not exposed to too much current. And this exceedingly simple setup is permitting us the following. Having here the 26 letters of the alphabet plus a 27th space. And that is what is the entire input facility. You have no backspace, you make any mistake, you own it. Now interesting of course is the output. So how do you show your letters when you're having just two blinking lights? Well, I came up with a variant of the Polybius square, which is a classical way of showing numbers by giving their coordinates, like just like X and Y. But with a three-dimensional option here, that is to arrange the letters as to three times three times 3, because 27 is 3 to the third. And therefore, every letter is given as a set of three coordinates. Which main square, right, 1, 2, and 3, which line in the square, and which number of letter in the line. So if I were, for instance, to, to press A, that would be just th 3 times blinking the 1. Huh? You connect it here. Uh, just a second, I was disconnecting things a little. Ah, uh, it works. 
One, one, and one. That's an A, right? Let's try with a Q. So that is in square two. No, let's try with P. That's interesting, right? P is in square two, row three, position one. And there we go. Uh, just a second. Two, three, one. Right, so that is how one can identify the letters on output. When you're writing, you see what you're doing because it's like echoing locally and so does the other party. And these two are in communication with each other and whatever is typed on the one appears on the other. So if I'm just going to tell you hello, it would be like H. E. You can try to follow along. L. L. And O. So this is how you can exchange information so these two telegraphs based on the 80 tiny 85 and that would be good as it is right like that's actually quite a nice feat a more reliable project for the future just to note here would be perhaps to divide the keyboard somewhere around the middle into two analog input pin um, like sub elements so that there are not there's not just one pin used but two pins for the analog input and to reduce the lamps instead of having two for binary output just for one lamp which might be blinking repeatedly but that would be just like a variant the idea would still remain the same and the three times three times three that is 27 cell polybius cube i think is still the most reasonable way to to create the output now there is one further facility I would like to show you and that facility is the automatic transmission mode. You see it might be convenient that you just input a message which is repeatedly shown again and again and not to have you here sitting and typing and typing off the same message. So instead of a live communication you thereby can sort of send an email if you will and that works by activating this feature through pressing space a couple of times right so there we have it and I'll, I'll press it the fourth time because I'm sometimes having issues with the first EE prompt position. And then I can say, hello. I could write along a message too, of course. Or, hey, you. Hey. You. Hey you, very good. And again I'm pressing, uh oh. Now I pressed A by mistake instead of space, but <sighs> we'll have to live with it. I'm going to press now space three times and the message will have been recorded and is ready for repeated transmission. Ah, there we go. So we are ready now. One, three, two, which is H. One, two, two, which is E. Three, three, 
one, which is Y. So, hey, space. And then three, one, three, three, one, you, like Y. Two, two, three, O. Oh. And U. And our A, which I by mistake also made part of the permanent message. Then we're getting again a couple of spaces, which is also signifying that the message is being restarted. And again, we are going for Hey You, and the whole cycle is being restarted. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of such a telegraphy device, which you can easily realize with the help of an 80 tiny 85 and a couple of white hairs trying to figure out the correct values for the analog input, which you might receive, which are going to be, by the way, slightly different per board, because it seems that, the, that there are certain factory imprecisions, so the values are slightly deviating and, and because this is such a long resistor letter these deviations unfortunately are noticeable in practice so <laughs> the whole thing will be more adventurous than than you may assume in the very beginning but nonetheless i do hope you found the blinking lights show enjoyable at least and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this episode, hope to greet you here soon again, and if you haven't become a subscriber yet, I would be all too pleased to greet you here in our little exclusive circle. Until our next encounter, have a wonderful time, and from me, Merry Christmas and goodbye.